Hey guys and welcome back to another video from Laboratory. It's Alex here again and this is just a quick video on how to upgrade your cooling system on the TL4100 JCAR 3D printer. So first of all you're going to need a soldering iron and some side cutters and then you're going to have to go ahead and purchase these turbo fans off eBay I'll put the link down below so check that out they're a 12 volt turbo fan and it's going to pump out a lot more heat I've had a lot of problems with printing with the filament getting jammed and then failing so I've already installed this and it works really well so I'm going to use these JSA connectors to solder on and I'll do a quick demo on how to solder them and it's just going to make it a lot easier to upgrade later in the future if I choose to change it again. Okay so first thing you're going to want to do is print this STL file that we'll put on the YouTube link down below. Basically the fans will sit here and one screw goes through each fan. The air is then deflected through this opening down the bottom here and um, so hopefully your printer We'll be able to print this. It's a pretty quick print. It should be okay with the old cooling fan. I think it was only about 30 minutes or so. I did it on super high detail, 0.2 mil layer height. I think I did it with supports. I did it as slow as you can possibly make it go. Once you've managed to print this, next step is to get a 2 mil Allen key and remove the two top screws. All right. Sweet. Once you've got those screws removed, uh, this sits nicely in place like that. You just put the existing screws back in. Okay, so they're done up now. Next thing you got, you want to do is remove this little fan, which I've already done. Make sure you turn the 3D printer off, disconnect the USB lead, cut those wires just there and then I'll show you how to solder the connectors on. Alright so first step grab one of the cooling fans I've already cut the connector off you're just going to want to strip about uh, 10 mil so that the copper wiring is exposed twist them so that they're twisted together like that and then grab the second one and Cut the plug off that one as well. Strip about 10 mil on the second one. Try and make them the same length. And all you need to do is twist the two red wires together. They're wired in parallel. So it should end up looking like that. You've got the two wires running to the fans and they're just twisted together. Okay, next step is to heat up your soldering iron. Always be careful with your soldering iron. It is very hot. You don't want to touch the end. Obviously, you will burn yourself. I've just got some solder here, which I will apply after heating the wire up for a few seconds, and it should just flow onto the wire like that. And just do the other wire. Okay, you're just going to want to cut them back so that there's probably only about 5 mil left. And then this is what comes with um, the JSA connectors. Um, you're going to want two of these, two of the other end of the connector. Now, you don't have to use JSA connectors. You could just solder it straight together if you want to. I'm just doing this purely so that it is easier for me to upgrade later on. Okay, so next you're going to want, want to add a little bit of solder to the JSA pin connector. And then heat it up and just add the wire. That's it, and then just repeat. Okay, so once you've finished, it should end up looking something like this. I've pushed the pins into the connector, and you should hear a click once they're in there properly. Now I've just got to do 
the 3D printer side and you're done. Okay, so again you just want to strip back these two wires here that we cut before, exposing about 10 mil of the wire. All right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Obviously this is very uh, tiny stuff I'm working with here. But I'm doing my best to show you how to do it. Let's heat my soldering on up again. Okay. And just adding the tiniest bit of solder again. Just cut that wire back to about 5 mil. And then you just got to do it for the other wire. Okay, so you just want to squash very carefully the end bits, which just give the cable a bit of support, basically. And then we want to grab the JSA connector and checking the polarity on what we already did on the other connector. Way around, so negative is on that side, and you just push it through. All right, so basically you end up with a connector on there looks like that then we can easily push these together like that and there you go next step you're going to want to install these fans so they're sitting like that i had a couple of spare screws left over from 3d printer kit and i just pop them in there and that's it and you guys can just tidy up the wires or do whatever you like but it's finished so there's the finished product, that's what it looks like, all connected up with the deflector deflecting cold air straight onto the extruder, keeping it nice and cold, which is what we want. Overall, this is a really good modification. I've had a lot of successful prints since I've done this. The only downside was uh, the print area has been reduced. The only thing I had did was reduce the print area to 100 mil radius and that stopped the printer arms from hitting the cooling fans. I haven't had to print anything bigger than 100 mil so far, but if you do, then you could just slice it in half to be able to fit it on the printer bed. I'd probably prefer to do that because I've had more success uh, with this cooling system. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on how to upgrade your cooling system. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.